Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at how karma will be dealt with between you and them. So the karma reading was a requested reading but I kind of changed the words around to more so fit what spirit is guiding me to do here. So this can be for a situation for like let's say if a person has hurt you in the past and you want to see what karma they're getting and what karma you're getting or let's say this is a situation where it's a sticky situation where you don't know who was right or who was wrong that could also be applicable for you or even if you just want to kind of just see if you had any type of conflict with a person or a situation with a person where you want to see their karma or your karma, then I think this reading could be good for you. So I think the intention with this reading is more so to bring awareness to our actions and how our actions can affect our karma as well as other people. So we have three piles to choose from. Please be aware that this is a general reading, so only take what resonates, leave the rest. In readings like this specifically, I'd say don't take things too personally if something doesn't resonate with you. Like let's say I say something about you and let's say I say you're getting karma for this but you never did that, then don't take that message and that message not for you. It's not here to scare you but it's more so here to bring you clarity. And yeah, I say just take it as it resonates. If certain messages don't resonate, but different messages resonate, then take it. But if none of the reading resonates, then I suggest picking another pile. So for pile one, we have Black Tourmaline with the Eight of Swords from the Muse Tarot. For pile two, we have Sodalite with the Two of Swords from the Light Seers Tarot. And for pile three, we have Pyrite with the Moon from the Tarot of the Divine. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most. And that will be your pile for today. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below. And then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there, my pile number ones. If you chose this black tourmaline crystal and the eight of voices, eight of swords from the Muse Tarot, then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at how karma will be dealt with between you and them. So please be aware this is a general reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. With the person on your mind, we're either going to be looking at a sticky situation where you don't know what was, who was right or who was wrong, or like, a certain fight or conflict you had with someone or if someone has wronged you if you didn't watch the intro that's more so the intention with today's reading and seeing how your actions and their actions have accumulated some kind of karma and what karma that will be but this reading is not to scare you or to bring you any sort of fear this reading is more so going to give you clarity on how your actions and their actions are bringing karma and what karma that will be. Remember, there is good and bad karma because we live in a world of duality. So without further ado, let's get started. If certain messages don't resonate, then don't take that message, then that message does not apply to you. If the whole reading does not resonate, then I suggest picking another pile. So what we're going to do to prevent you having any confusion when watching this reading of whether this is your pile or not, at the top half we're going to use the tarot deck that you chose and we're going to get the situation and what happened. The left side is going to be your energy. This is a significator card to represent the situation as well. We're going to have your actions first on the left and then your karma. And then on the right side, we're going to have their actions and their karma. So let's get started and see what comes up. So if you don't resonate with the actions or the situation, then this is not your pile. Okay, so 
I firstly feel a strong throat chakra blockage on either your or this person's part. So a lesson here may be speaking the truth from a place of clarity, speaking what you're feeling about or setting boundaries or something like that. I just saw 222 on the timer and I saw 1111 when I was about to start your reading. So you may actually be receiving a lot of signs and guidance on the situation with this person or people, depending on who you're asking about. So spirit guides of pile number one, those that picked the black tourmaline pile, may we please look into the situation. There is a fly here in the room as soon as I started your reading, which doesn't make sense to me because my readings are, I mean, <laughs> my windows are closed and it wasn't here before. It's so weird. You know, when I see flies in a reading, it's like a negative energy or jealousy or just like a negative energy in general. So let's just see what comes out. Spirit guides of pile one. The situation. What happened with this person? What is the situation and what happened with this person on their mind? So we have the three of voices, which is the three of swords first. We have the Ten of Materials, which is the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Okay, so what happened? Four of Swords at the back of the deck, Seven of Pentacles is popping out with the Fool. I feel this person caused you a lot of pain. It may have caused each other pain or this person caused you pain, depending on how you see things. I think it's different for all. Take it as it resonates. Whatever they did to you or whatever happened in the situation may have made you feel really stuck and hopeless, I hear. And it seemed as though this person was taking jabs at you or being very jealous of you. Because with the Four of Swords at the back of the deck, I'm kind of getting this vibe from you that you're a really peaceful person, my pile number ones, and I feel like the situation was not meant to happen with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I don't see it as like a lesson that was meant to happen or anything like that. I more so see it as a situation that happened that was more so from free will. So let's say, for example, this person hurt your feelings, hurt your emotions. It's what they chose to do from their free will. It wasn't a lesson. It wasn't meant to happen with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. That's how I'm reading it. And I think you took a lesson from it by learning to protect your peace with Black Tourmaline and the Four of Swords. Learning that your peace is important from the situation and taking that lesson out of it, even though it wasn't a lesson in the first place. I hope that makes sense. For some of you, this could have been someone you were really close to, like a family member, uh, someone you lived with, someone you were very close to, a best friend, a lover. It's very close with the Ten of Pentacles and you were maybe together for a really long time or you saw yourself having a connection to this person for a very long time. I feel for some of you this was a karmic relationship or karmic situation. And it wasn't a lesson, but in the end it helped you grow. You grow you grew from the pain. And now with the shut door, I kind of get this vibe of like no contact or you close the door off to them completely. Because they caused you a great deal of heartbreak and pain. Let's look more into the situation. And what happened? Three more cards, please, for what happened in this situation with this person. Okay, we have uh, a few cards here. And the full card keeps popping out, keeps wanting to pop out. So I feel like you've gone on a new journey without this person. Okay, three of pentacles at the back of the deck. So we have the muse of voices which is one of your first cards. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Empress. So for some of you, this was a mother figure, not all. The Death card, let's just do this. 
I hear awakening. The situation could, could have caused you a lot of pain for some, but awakened you eventually. I don't know how I want to lay out these cards. I'm very, like, all over the place. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm just trying to figure out how I can best lay out these cards. Then we have the Five of Inspiration, Five of Wands. Maybe that's a little bit of your energy, like not knowing whether you should keep them in your life or leave them behind completely. Ten of Emotions, Ten of Cups, and then that card. So let's just put it here. I feel with the eyes here, like her eyes being closed, your eyes were closed to the situation. You didn't see how bad the situation was until it was too late, until it was over. It reminded me of that energy. You know, when you have like a conflict with the person or they do something so wrong to you. And then after you tell other people about it and they're so shocked and, you know, like they're like, that's not healthy at all. And meanwhile, in that situation, you thought it was normal or you thought that like it was okay or you didn't think anything of it because it was normalized. I'm getting that energy here. And for some of you, I definitely feel this could have been a family member or someone you were very close to because, I mean, we even have the Ten of Cups here. So you were very close to this person or you wanted to be close to them. You had a strong connection to them. There were happy moments in your connection, but there were also conflict or disagreements or it was like there was a polarity between the two of you where you two could not get along. And I almost feel for some of you, this person picked fights with you intentionally. Because like I said before, I feel like a lot of you watching this pile are very peaceful. And when I do this reading, I'm trying to be balanced, like that justice energy, kind of like fair and balanced and not having any sort of bias. But I feel like this person more so hurt you than you hurt them. I feel like this person more so took jabs at you or more so tried to get a reaction out of you or said some things that they they wanted to hurt you with their words or with their actions, with the conflict you were having. I feel like you wanted to keep the peace in the connection and maybe this connection taught you boundaries. What am I? I get this person unintentionally put you through a transformational experience with the death card. This connection changed you either for better or for worse. And I feel for some, like you, you two are just so different that you could not get along or so similar that you clashed in some ways. Um, for some of you, this could have been a co-worker with the Three of Pentacles or a friend at the back of the deck. And, or someone you collaborated or worked with. Or a boss or something, because the chariot was popping out there. And I feel you really had love for this person. You really tried to nurture this person or fix this person or change this person for some. Take what resonates, leave the rest. For some, you could have relied this per on this person for money or shared money in some way, which made the situation very st sticky. Okay, and I think there was some kind of a lesson about communication here. Even though it was not meant to be a lesson. Okay, but either way, free will happened and this person chose to do whatever they did. So let's look at your actions first. So can we please tap into the energy of pile number one's actions? I'm going to do this so that I can make more space. So that I can see the bottom cards and because I have ADHD, <laughs> won't remember it, but I want to make more space. Okay, so pile number one's actions, please. Can we look into pile one's actions? Okay, the devil is at the back of the deck. We have the six of voices, six of swords. 
The nine of materials, nine of pentacles, the moon, the queen of voices, queen of swords, page of voices in the reverse, the star, and the knight of emotions, knight of cups. I feel you were not aware of what was happening here with the page of swords in the reverse. Like you didn't see this person's true intentions or true nature until it was too late, as I said before. The moon maybe represents you feeling confused as to why this person is treating you this way or why this is happening in your connection. Let me just check that these cards are in frame quickly. Okay, so I'm seeing two things. Okay, seeing and hearing. I heard that song, you look like an angel, you talk like an angel, walk like an angel, but you're the devil in disguise. And I don't feel that's your energy, uh, the song by Elvis Presley, because the devil's at the back of the deck. I don't feel this is your energy. I feel this is the other person's energy, because over here we see angel wings on the queen of swords. And I kind of get the notion that you were trying to uh, fix things with this person or trying to heal or resolve things with this person and change things, change your connection to this person with the Six of Swords. And you may have felt very confused, alone, lost, not understanding why this was happening to you or why this person was treating you this way or why this happened between the two of you. Maybe you felt as though, what could I have done to save this? Like, I tried to save this connection. I tried to heal this connection. I tried to speak about my feelings with the Queen of Swords and the Moon. But sometimes I didn't even know what I was feeling because I just felt so confused. I felt so deeply about the situation and so intensely about the situation. But sometimes I didn't know how to express those emotions or how to kind of like speak my truth and set boundaries. But I feel towards the end... Because this is like the cards that are on the side, which I feel like is the end. You try to speak your truth more and try to set certain boundaries and resolve things with this person. But I just feel like they try to get a reaction out of you with the devil at the back of the deck. And kind of like pin it on you and say that you're the one that is being the devil in disguise like trying to get a reaction out of you. It almost reminds me of situations I've seen where people, trigger warning, are going through narcissistic abuse and the narcissist uses a tactic to try to get that person to react so that the narcissist can be the victim in the situation. I'm not saying this person is a narcissist, I'm not a medical professional, but I'm just saying it reminds me of that. And I feel into your throat chakra energies, you were very scared to speak your truth, or it was very hard for you to speak your truth, because you didn't want to feel like you were attacking this person. But I feel like sometimes they just got on your last nerve, and they brought that that anger out of you that you didn't want to bring out. With the Knight of Cups, you wore your heart on your sleeve with this person. And maybe there's this energy of like, you seeing them as a blessing in your life, a soulmate, a a love in your life that you, you love this person so dearly and you had a lot of hope for this connection. But... It's like, I don't know how to explain it. Like you wore your heart on your sleeve too much for this person. I feel like you were the deer in this situation and this person was the wolf in sheep's clothing. So these are your actions. What else did... I saw something else. I saw a rose with thorns, right? And this is representing your energy. And you're the rose. Roses represent love, right? But the rose has thorns to protect itself. 
And I feel with black tourmaline here, you were just trying to protect yourself in the situation if you did react. And so if you did react, that is still an action on your part, but it is understood by the universe and by your spirit guides why you did so. Um, because you were trying to protect yourself. And... I'm seeing Pinocchio when his grow nose grows long. So I don't know if you lied in this situation or if you tried to hide this from others, like tried to not tell others about this while you were in it. I don't know if that's really considered lying, but okay. Yeah, I'm seeing Pinocchio. Okay, let's get this person's actions and then we're going to look at the karma. I, the reason why I'm delaying this reading and dragging it out is because I've watched readings like this and sometimes it confused me because I'm like, this didn't resonate with me or anything and I don't understand why why Spirit is saying they're getting this karma. Like, I don't understand the reason behind it. So for me, I want to be as unbiased as possible. I'm almost looking at myself like a judge, right, <laughs> metaphorically, and I'm looking at each action and why they're getting that type of karma so that we can understand the picture because I don't want to just look at the karma and then it's like confusing. So we have the muse of materials at the back of the deck. Again, you know, this person could have provided for you financially. There could have been some kind of contract between the two of you in terms of work or it's like you had to kind of agree with this person in some way if you lived with them, if they were a roommate, if if you relied on them in any way. Because this is the king of pentacles. Okay. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. The Knight of Swords. The Page of Pentacles in the reverse. The Awakening card. Page of Wands. Ten of Swords, Five of Cups. In this person's perspective, I'm kind of getting that they feel bad for the hurt and pain that was caused in the situation. And the way they're viewing themselves, I think they're viewing themselves as they never did anything wrong. So on their side, I see a lack of accountability, but I also see a guilt and a feeling of feeling bad for the hurt and pain that was caused, but they believe that hurt and pain was caused on both sides, which I don't really know if I believe because... On your side, we just see love with the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Swords and the Moon. So you were trying to express your emotions to this person and try to change the situation and transform the situation with the Six of Swords. But with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, I'm kind of hearing that they were not listening to you or learning from the situation, from the challenges at hand that you experienced together. And I'm kind of getting that... Like this situation, this person kept on bringing challenges into your life with the Nine of Wands. Unease into your life. This feeling of stuckness, this feeling of confusion, feeling of sadness. And Ten of Swords here indicates an inevitable ending is what I'm hearing based on this person's actions. They caused your hurt and pain with the Five of Cups, disappointed you. But they also themselves felt disappointed. I don't know why. We'll see why in a minute. On their side, they 
With the Knight of Swords may have been a little bit impulsive and may have just said or did things without thinking them through first. Page of Wands, I'm kind of reading this intuitively, not just based off the card meaning, but I mean we have the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. And okay, I know over here we have Page of Swords in the reverse and the Queen of Swords, but at least we have one queen here. And I'm kind of getting this vibe with the two pages here of an immaturity on this person's side. And I'm kind of getting that they have now realized with the Awakening card now that like they may have hurt you. They may be reflecting back on past choices that were made and looking at you now, watching you on social media and seeing you on your healing journey now. They may have been that person that did things independently and expressed certain things without thinking first about how that could affect another person's emotions. Okay, so the Emperor. The Five of Swords. The Queen of Cups. So I feel like they betrayed you or betrayed your trust or you may have felt betrayed by them, by whatever it is they did, because there was a level of trust here and a level of like, I didn't think you could hurt me like this. And I almost, I don't know how to explain this person's energy. They're very confusing because I see them thinking to themselves I did it because I love you or I did it because I care for you. So let's say, for example, I saw Pinocchio. Maybe that's not your energy and this person's energy. Let's say they lied to you out of protecting you, but it's still lying to you and it still hurts you. That they kind of excuse that out of protecting you and out of compassion with the Queen of Cups. Um, or let's say this person said something really mean to you or was like really blunt and mean all the time and like almost disguises it under, but I'm being kind by telling them the truth. But maybe they didn't do it in a kind way. It came off as a betrayal with the Five of Swords and it came off as this person not thinking about how their actions or words can affect another person's emotions. These are examples of the energy. I see that this person now feels compassionate and feels bad about how they treated you, how they mistreated you, and how that affected you emotionally. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. So I think for them, they're still holding on to the guilt of what they have done to you and what that may have caused you. And for them, I think they're they're wanting to reach out to you and apologize and, you know, say, I'm sorry, I feel bad about what I've done here. I think they've grown and matured, but I don't think they have fully taken accountability because I see this energy here of them thinking that they weren't wrong in the situation fully. And while that could be somewhat true, it's also important for this person to take accountability. I think for this person, they wanted to hold on to your connection and still keep doing the things they were doing. But now they're realizing that that's not fair to you and that's not right to you. And I think they're kind of like thinking about this a lot in their mind. You know, like you may have started a new beginning, but this person is still stuck in this place of thinking back to you. So it's very hard to explain this energy, but this is what I see here. Okay, now let's take a look at their karma and your karma. So what is pile number one's karma from their actions? Lovers. The Three of Wands, the Seven of Swords, Clarify Seven of Swords, the Muse of Materials, the Four of Wands, 
and the temperance card. So I feel for you, your karma here is with temperance, clearing away the energy of what was done to you here, learning from the situation, because I see the Hierophant is popping out, moving on, moving forward from the situation with the Three of Wands. Again, I'm reading these cards intuitively, not just based on the tarot card meanings. And I think for you, I think you're going to be accepting the deceit of what was done to you. That's kind of what I'm getting here intuitively. You may receive an apology from them as your good karma. And I feel your good karma is going to be having relationships around you in the future that help you heal from the deceit of the past. Relationships with you in the future that are actually genuine and the opposite of what you've experienced here, where you can have a stable new beginning, stable new kind of foundation with the people in your life, people that are going to be balanced and harmonic for you, people that are going to yeah, bring in harmony into your life instead of deceit, people that you can trust. So you may have people come in that heal you, uh, sort of like a healing type of love or people that come in and help you trust again after this deceit. Pile one's karma, please. Muse of emotions, strength, and Knight of Pentacles. So for you, I feel like with the Magician popping out, um, Queen of Wands behind it and Justice, I feel like you are going to get your justice. You are going to get good karma for this. And do you see here 111? The universe is going to help you create more confidence in your life. The universe is going to help you create more opportunities for yourself that help you move forward from the situation and regain your strength. And the universe is going to help you heal from this emotionally, rebalance emotionally and regulate your emotions from the situation. The universe is going to bring you a passionate idea that is going to inspire others and you're going to since the muse of inspirations at the back of the deck behind that's the eight of pentacles, you're going to master some kind of talent or gift and go very far within that and regain your strength and power from the situation. See certain strengths within you that you never saw before. What is the other person's karma going to be based off their actions? The eight of pentacles. I'm hearing righting their wrongs, the hang muse in the reverse, the knight of wands, the tower in the reverse, the eight of wands in the reverse, seven of pentacles, the muse of inspiration, two of swords, seven of cups, and the three of pentacles. I feel like with the Ten of Wands at the back of the deck, I feel like this person's karma is that they're going to feel like they're giving their love out to others, but not receiving it back in return. They're going to watch you create the life you desire, watch you have a spark of life come back to you, watch you reach success, watch you have happiness and love. And they're going to watch you make better choices in your life and learn from you. Watch you reach your dreams and goals and the things you aspire to reach. They're going to feel like things are happening very slowly in their life. Like whatever they try to do, it's just not happening in the pace they wanted to. Do you see here? It's like happening very slowly. And I see them like having the energy and ambition to achieve, to work hard, to master something, but then nothing is sort of happening for them and they're kind of like stressed thinking, am I going to just continue doing this forever and never have any blessings come in? 
Like, for example, with their career, they could try and try and try and try. But no matter what they're trying, they're kind of stuck in stagnancy. It's like nothing wrong or bad is happening with the tower in reverse, but there's always this anticipation of something bad happening. And with that anticipation of something bad happening, they sort of manifest it in their life. I see them not having good relationships with people. I see them being around people that don't trust them that find it hard to trust them. I see them giving and giving and giving, but not receiving the same back in return in their connections. And I see them making certain choices, but it's like whatever choice they make, it, it doesn't work out for them either way. And this is going to happen until they realize what they've done to you. And apologize to you, make the choice to right past wrongs with you. And I feel like this is going to happen until they take accountability and see their own actions in terms of what they've done to you. That's what I feel here. So I just saw 3333 three, three, three on the timer. So the universe is supporting you in this situation. I feel like their karma is actually not so bad in my opinion. I feel like this person's being let off easily. But the thing we have to remember about karma is to us, it may not seem that bad. But to this person, maybe they really value blessings like for example financial blessings in their life and if things are slowing down to them that may be really painful to them remember the universe knows where our hurt and pain is and it doesn't always mean if we make a certain action that we're going to get that exact karma but what I can say is to this person it's going to feel very hard and draining like no matter what they do things are just not going their way so this is what I have for you, pile number one. I really hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And then I'll see you next time. Hi there, my pile number twos. If you chose the Soda Light Crystal and the Two of Swords from the Light Seers Tarot, this reading is for you. We're going to take a look at how karma will be dealt with between you and them. So if you didn't see the intro, my intention with this reading is to more so look at how your actions and their actions have influenced the karma between the both of you. This can be for a situation where a person has hurt you. It can be for a situation where you feel confused and you don't know if you were right or wrong or who was right or who was wrong. And it can be for situations where it's just a sticky situation overall where maybe both of you were in the wrong and you want to understand why what happened happened. So if you feel this is necessary for you, let's get started with your reading. Before I get started, I just want to say these types of readings are not here to confuse you. They're here to give you clarity. So if I say something about what you did and you don't resonate with it, then don't take that message. And if I say, okay, you did this and you got that karma and you didn't do that, then that message is not for you. So it's not to scare you, but it's more to give you clarity. Yeah, so basically what I'm going to do in this reading is first at the top here, I'm going to look at the situation and what happened between the two of you. On the left side, I'm going to look at your actions firstly and then your karma from those actions. And then on the second half, I'm going to look at their actions and their karma. So without further ado, let's get started. If nothing in the reading resonates at all, then I suggest picking another pile. So the reason I'm doing it with the situation and what happened in your actions is so that you can see if this reading does resonate with you and if this is your pile. Because I want to see more of a bird's eye view perspective of the whole situation here and look at this from an unbiased perspective. Okay, so spirit guides of pile number twos, spirit guides of pile two, keep the person or people in mind while I shuffle. May we please look at the situation and what happened between pile number two and this person or people. Okay. 
Okay, I see a lot of cards want to come out, but I'm not going to take all of them. The Hermit is in the reverse at the back of the deck. So, we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and then we have the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Wands in the reverse, the Ace of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, let me just reflect on these cards for a bit. Okay, so the Two of Swords is your Significator card. So this represents certain choices that were made, okay? The Nine of Swords reverse tells me you or this person had a lot of fears to overcome that, that you or them were not aware of, okay? And these fears subconscious fears were affecting the connection. I feel you were either very close to this person with a ten of cups, you really loved this person, or you wanted to be. For some this could have been a like more like a spicy bedroom connection. I don't want to say too much but if you know you know. Like an intimate connection in that way. Friends with benefits, anything like that. Or a romantic connection. Because I see a lot of passion here with the Ace of Wands. And if not, then this could, be in a, this could have been a friendship where you two just had a lot of passion and a lot of fun and excitement seeing each other and being around each other. Like that type of excitement where you just want to be with them all the time you want to give them all your time and energy and like they make you so excited and so inspired and so motivated and they can make you laugh they can make you smile they brighten up your day okay and I feel like both of you really wanted to build a connection together build a stronger connection queen of um pentacles queen of wands could be the characters in the situation you and them regardless of gender yeah and i feel like one of you felt like whatever happened here brought out certain insecurities because i felt a solar plexus wound i want to clarify okay hermit in reverse at the back of the deck I feel like this energy, I, I'm like having some type of block with reading this. I don't know why. Understanding it. Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands, Reverse. What is this telling me? What was the Hermit in Reverse meaning? <laughs> hermit in Reverse. Not being aware of how our subconscious fears may affect the connection. Because the Hermit Upright is an awareness, right? It's like looking within and finding the answers within. The Hermit Reverse is kind of giving this vibe with the Seven of Swords at the back of the deck. One or both of you, just depending on what you resonate with, may have been not self-aware. Because Seven of Swords is at the back of the deck and can sometimes represent deceit. But Seven of Swords doesn't always have to be bad. Seven of Swords is not always bad. It can be a situation where, like, let's say I don't trust a person. And I'm hurting that person by not trusting them. But they've never done anything to make me not trust them. But maybe I have trust issues from the past. It can be a situation like that. Or Seven of Swords can be even, like, minor, like... I don't know. I don't know how to explain this energy. Like maybe I say something to hurt this person because soda light is communication and speaking. Maybe I say something to hurt this person but I'm not self-aware of how what I say can hurt another person and cause challenges in the connection. I'm not aware of it but it's making 
us more stuck in the cycle or loop. But for some of you, this person really did you wrong. I think just take it as it resonates because Seven of Swords is at the back of the deck. They really did you wrong in many different ways, but they are not self-aware or vice versa. Or it was like, I see Tom and Jerry situation for, for some of you where you were both in this kind of cycle. I think it just depends on your energy. Whatever happened here, it made you feel stuck, made them feel stuck, and took away one of your confidence, or both. So let's just move these cards to the top a little bit and do this, so that I can see the cards that are here make more space. Okay. So spirit guides on my pile number one, spirit guides on my pile number one. What was pile, pile two, sorry. Spirit guides on my pile number two, spirit guides on my pile number twos. <laughs> it's the end of the day while I'm recording this. This is a pre-recording. I'm just like, yeah, I've had a long day. Sorry. Okay. We have the four of cups. The King of Pentacles. The Six of Swords in the reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Pile number two's actions towards this person, please. The Queen of Swords. The Seven of Cups. Uh, the star is also popping out with the Queen of Cups at the back of the deck. So, actually, I don't really feel that Tom and Jerry energy for many of you. Like, I feel like most of the people watching this pile had love for this person. Like, wanted to heal the connection with this person since the star popped out. You may actually resonate with pile one if you were drawn. If not, that's okay. Because I said that to them. Let me just check that these cards are in frame quickly. Okay, so firstly, I feel like this person had some kind of hold over you. There was something about you trying to express to this person the many different ways they could have been hurting you. And I feel with the Six of Swords in the reverse, nothing changed. You tried multiple times to communicate and to solve things but nothing really changed with the six of swords in the reverse and maybe there's this feeling here of the king of pentacles I'm almost getting a feeling of trying to help them I don't know why remember I'm reading the cards intuitively not just based off card meanings I'm reading it based off the energy I feel because I'm thinking of the King of Pentacles figure as like a man that, you know, has money and is going to help people with his money. He's going to make good business decisions, things like that. So let's say you help this person financially or you try to help them solve whatever this was with the bookshelves in the background, tried to give them knowledge, tried to make them aware of it. You were very unbiased in the way you spoke to them, very truthful with the Queen of Swords, but you were still assertive with what you had to say. But the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse tells me, again, nothing changed. And I almost feel with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse a similarity to Pile 1 because I said this to them too. But sometimes there are similarities in readings. It doesn't necessarily mean that Pile 1 is your pile if you weren't drawn. But I see a, a message here of like, this was not meant to be in your life, the situation. Like, whatever happened here was not meant to happen. It was not a lesson to you. It was not meant to happen, but it happened anyways, because, you know, there is fate with the Wheel of Fortune upright, but then there are situations that just happen to us. Like, touch wood, I don't want this to happen. I could get in a car crash today and it just happens and it's not fated and it's not meant to happen, but sometimes things just happen. 
So I feel that message here with the Wheel of Fortune. You were just like stuck in a circumstance or in a circumstance that was not of your doing and not meant to happen. And with the dice here on her t-shirt or dress, I kind of get the situation like it just happened. Like you throw dice and it and then like a number just appears. It just happened. You weren't really satisfied with what was happening here though. So you tried to change things, but things just didn't change here. Your dynamic didn't change with this person. And I'm looking here at the different flags and the red flag here. Maybe you saw certain red flags in this person and how they were wearing a mask in some way. Let's take a look at their actions, but I feel like with the Queen of Cups at the back of the deck, you tried to be compassionate towards them, you tried to help them heal, you tried to understand why it is this happened in the first place, you tried to be understanding and forgiving towards them, okay, and hopeful that things could change. So we have the Knight of Swords, their actions, please. So we're going to get to their karma. I just like to have a full view of everything here so that I can see the bigger picture. Okay, so spirit guides of pile number twos. Their actions towards pile two, please. The king of wands. The four of pentacles. The Fool, the Four of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, and then we have the Page of Cups and the Four of Swords. So in this person's eyes, they wanted more peace with you. They loved how compassionate you were and how understanding you were of them. And I think whatever happened here was based off a trauma response that they were not aware of. Whatever they did to you, whatever action they did to you was based off a trauma response. Because we have the tower in the reverse popping out and the moon in reverse. Something they're not aware of. Something in their subconscious mind. Though this does not excuse whatever they did to you. It does not excuse their behavior. So I don't know what they did to you. Spirit is not being clear with it yet. But like, let's see if we can get anything. But whatever happened here was based off a trauma response they have. And maybe you knew that because I saw 1555 on the timer. And maybe you tried to help them heal from this and change this within themselves. But I feel like this person didn't want to change or didn't learn from the situation. I feel like in their perspective, they had a lot of love for you and they wanted peace in your connection. They felt like you two had a lot of fun together and you two just had that type of connection that made them feel like life is a celebration. They wanted to hold on to you and I feel for you, something they did made you feel insecure in some way or like not worthy in some way or something along those lines and I feel for some, this person may have betrayed you or just did things that felt like a betrayal, did things impulsively without thinking it through. Remember, when I read these cards, I'm reading them intuitively again. So Knight of um, Swords can be like running or rushing towards something. The motorbike here makes me think of like danger and like how if you ride your motorbike too fast, you know, you can be in a sticky situation from that. The fool here is about to take that leap of faith and jump off the mountain and take the leap of faith. So I almost feel like this person took certain risks or just did things without thinking clearly, um, was maybe a little bit impulsive, didn't think about their words or actions or how it would affect you. I think for them in their mind, they had a lot of love for you and they didn't mean to hurt you. I don't know if they even know that they hurt you or if they, I don't know how to explain this person's energy because here we clearly see you express to them. But for them, 
Let me just read the energy. I'm trying to understand this person's energy. For them, they had a lot of love for you, but I, I don't feel like this person has emotional maturity yet. Because I feel with the Five of Pentacles, there were needs that were unmet in this person's life that they are holding on to. So let's say, for example, we saw an example of trust issues here. Let's say they had a lot of love for you and they accused you of cheating. Let's say you're in a relationship. This is just an example of the energy. You don't have to resonate. But let's say they accused you of cheating. And before in their previous relationship, the person cheated and didn't give them love. But you're giving them love. You're giving them compassion. You're not showing any red flags. But because they're holding on to this pain and trauma of the past, they accuse you of doing so. That can be an example of the energy. Or let's say it's a situation where, let me try think what I'm seeing here. Let's say they do something impulsive or say something impulsively to you, but it comes from their pain and trauma where someone has done that to them, but they're not emotionally mature enough to think of how that can affect you in the moment. And with the King of Wands, I feel like this person had a lot of passion towards you, a lot of desire and attraction if this is romantic. And if not, this was just like, a lot of this feeling of wanting to be around you, passion being in your presence and all of that. Can I understand what happened here? Like in this person's actions towards pile two, the three of swords. I feel like whatever they did to you hurt you. Whatever they said or did hurt you. With the three of swords broke your heart. And it's like they caused it. I think they know they caused it, but I don't think they fully accept it yet. How do they, f like, what is going on in their mind? Do they know that they heard Pile 2 with whatever they said or did? The Tower in the Reverse, Two of Wands. Okay, the Devil in Reverse is popping out, which I sometimes see as a lack of accountability and we have the five of swords at the back of the deck so I feel like you know this felt like a betrayal to you or it felt like they did something bad to you and they know they did something bad but to them I think they're making an excuse of like I only did that because I had my pain and hurt and my trauma so they're not fully admitting their wrongs and their mistakes and what they did to hurt you and how that may have affected you. Yes, they were hurt. Yes, they were in pain. But at the same time, it still hurt you. It still put you in pain in some way. And like their hurt and pain doesn't excuse their behavior. That's what I feel here. Okay, now let's take a look at the karma here. So... Pile one, pile two. Why do I keep saying pile one? Pile two's karma, please, spirit. We have the empress. Pile two's karma, please, spirit. Page of pentacles. The eight of wands. Six of wands reverse. Page of wands. The lovers, the emperor. So I feel like you're going to find somebody new in love. You're going to accept the situation as something that was unsuccessful, but you're going to move on from it anyways with the eight of wands. That's what I'm getting intuitively. Okay, and with the emperor here and the empress, you could be meeting your emperor or empress, whatever you resonate with, or your person, like your divine counterpart, because the empress and emperor go together well. And the lovers here is about meeting someone that loves you. This could either be romantic or this could either be uh, platonic or whatever type of love you do want. 
in the physical. You're going to get that type of love you wanted with this person, but with another person that is able to give you that love you deserve and that you need. I feel like you're going to learn from the situation. You're going to take it as a lesson and you're going to learn from it and you're going to birth something new into your reality and take the lessons that come with it. See the red flags when you do see it. Speak your truth when it's needed and you're going to form healthier connections to people that work with you as a team and that aren't in the same energy as this person. Okay? People that are going to want to grow with you, change with you, progress with you. That's what I'm getting. Since we have the three of pentacles at the back of the deck, this is going to be someone that works with you like a team, not against you. So what is this person's karma for pile two, please? So we have the five of wands, the five of cups, the eight of cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Knight of Cups. So they're going to be learning the same lesson through another person because they haven't learned. They're going to be attracting another person in their life romantically or friendship wise or any type of relationship and they're going to be learning the same lesson again and again and again until they learn it fully. And whatever connection this is going to be, this is a karmic connection from past lives that they never fully resolved everything with in the past lives. And it's like they're going to have a new situation here with the Ace of Pentacles, but it's the same old situation through a different person. And it's going to help them ascend and grow until they learn the lesson. And if they don't learn the lesson, then they're going to learn this lesson through different people over and over again and be in that karmic loop until they finally learn their lesson and let go of whatever this is. This person may disappoint them in ways, they may disappoint this person in ways equally just as much until they're able to take responsibility for their actions and how their pain may influence them. And you know, for this person, I feel compassion for them because it wasn't coming out of a place of wanting to hurt you, yet they did hurt you at the same time. So I can see your side of the situation and I can see this person's side from an unbiased perspective, but I also think this person needs to take accountability. And if they had taken accountability for their actions, I don't think they would be learning this lesson as harshly, but it's almost like Spirit wants to show them that you can't use your pain as a crutch for what has happened to you. And I think I need to learn from this too because I have trust issues. And yeah, but like I don't necessarily accuse people of doing anything, but I can see how that can influence a person or like how your pain can influence a person where you become the person that has hurt you to another person. Like that saying, hurt people, hurt people. I don't think that this person intentionally tried to do this to you, which is why I don't feel their karma is as bad. But it's still a karmic loop. Um, Spirit is almost treating this person like a kid that has failed the grade and they need to repeat the grade until they learn. And Spirit is not being harsh to this person, but Spirit is also giving this person the lesson anyways at the end of the day so this is what i have for you until they see a different perspective with the hangman so this is what i have for you pile two i really hope this reading resonated with you if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next reading Hi there my pal number threes, if you chose this pyrite crystal and the moon card from the Tarot of the Divine, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at how karma will be dealt with between you and them. So you can watch this and be asking about a person that has hurt you, a person where let's say it's a sticky situation and you don't know who was right or who was wrong, like let's say it was a conflict, or this can be for a situation where you're trying to reach a place of understanding for what actually happened in the connection. So the rundown of this reading, we are going to be taking a look at, with the top half here, the situation and what happened 
On the left side, we're going to take a look at you, your actions, and then your karma. And then on the right side, them, their actions, and their karma. So with these types of readings, I'm doing it in more of a way where I get a bird's eye view, unbiased perspective of the full picture without just the karma. Because the thing is, we want to get the bird's eye view perspective to see the full perspective of what happened here and what's going to happen. I just saw one, one, one for you. So this reading is not to confuse you. You know, if I say, okay, you did something like this and you're getting karma here and you don't agree with that and you didn't do that, then that message is not for you. And if I say something where like, let's say, this is a situation and this is your actions and their actions and you don't resonate with that, then that shows that this pile isn't for you so that you can know if this pile is for you or not. And if nothing resonates, then again, it's not your pile. So I think with these types of readings, just take it with a grain of salt. I'm hearing a plane go by. So for some of you, this person and you could have had like a long distance relationship. For some, it could have been like, you traveled to them or they traveled to you, like you lived far from each other, or they could come from a different country. For some, it doesn't have to resonate for all, just specific message. So Spirit Guides of Pile 3. Spirit Guides of Pile 3. What is the situation with this person on their mind. Keep the person or people on your mind while I shuffle. What is the situation? What happened with with this person or people and pile number three? What happened? What is the situation with them? We have the six of wands showing up first. We have the three of pentacles. So for some, this could have been someone you worked with, someone you collaborated with, someone you went to school with a friend, okay, business partner, five of pentacles, client, or it could have been a romantic connection, family member, friendship, someone you were close to with the ten of cups. The two of wands. Okay, let's look at these cards. So we also have the three of wands and the eight of swords and the king of pentacles. So let's just organize these cards quickly so I can see everything. Yeah, some of you definitely worked with this person or collaborated with this person in some way or this was a business partner or went to school with them have been like a school bully for some for some you're asking about more than one person at once six of swords in the reverse at the back of the deck whatever the situation is i feel like you still have emotions about this with the moon and the six of swords reverse even though the situation has physically maybe ended it's not maybe physically in your life anymore but the repercussions, repercussions of this or whatever happened here has really hurt you emotionally and kept you stuck in some ways, made you feel like you didn't have clarity or made you feel confused in some ways. And maybe for this for a person or vice versa or just for you, depending on what you resonate with. Okay, and I feel here some of you were very close to this person whereas some of you weren't, you didn't have much of a connection to them, but you highly looked up to them and you wanted more of a connection with them. Like you wanted the connection to be successful and move forward. Okay, intuitively for some, let's say you're asking about school bullies or people that bullied you in some way. There's something about them being secretly jealous of you and trying to pick on you because of that. Or seeing something in you, like seeing a potential in you with the six of wands. Like, for example, some of you could be very attractive. And let's say these people bullied 
your looks to try to make you feel bad about yourself, to try to not let you see that about yourself. Or let's say this person um, bullied you and you were very good at school, like you were very good at getting good school marks and they could see you were very smart and then they decided to bully you because they were jealous of your abilities. That's a situation for some or like a friend that took jabs at you for some. That's not for everybody, for some. For others here, I feel what had happened here for some, this person ghosted you or just like abandoned you, made you feel left out in some ways. Like this could have been a friend that just like, distance themselves from you all of a sudden where you didn't know what happened you were without clarity and you were confused with the moon and you felt left out they could have started being friends with other people and not like invite you or an ex-lover that maybe ghosted you or just distanced themselves from you or just stopped speaking to you out of nowhere where they didn't give you closure or clarity or they broke up with you but didn't tell you why. I feel a situation like that for some. Um, or let's say this was an ex-business partner or someone you worked with. Let's say, let's say they took something from you or stole from you and left you with nothing, with a lack, with the five of pentacles. Or let's say they promised you all these things but never paid you um, or... Yeah, like a client that never paid you or someone that took from you and made you feel a lack. I'm trying to think of what this could be because I see many different scenarios here. I think Pile 3's energy is more vast and mysterious with the moon. Like the energies are mysterious here where you don't fully exactly know what happened yourself, which is why... Like tapping into this energy, I feel a little bit confused. Okay, let's let's go ahead and look at your actions and their actions. The full reverse came out. So it's obvious that maybe like you've gone in a new beginning, but you haven't fully let go of this in this new beginning you're on. Let's just look at your actions and their actions and see if I can get more of a perspective here and then maybe I'll go back to this if I see anything else. So pile number three's actions, please. What well, were pile number three's actions towards this person or people? So we have the chariot in the reverse. We have the queen of cups. We have the five of swords. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. We have the Three of Swords. The Six of Cups in the reverse. Five of Swords, is this Pile Three's energy or the other person's energy? Eight of Pentacles, Emperor Reverse, Seven of Swords. Seven of Wands, Four of Cups. Okay, so you could have done something to this person where you don't realize that you may have hurt them. Because what I'm kind of getting here is to you, maybe it wouldn't be a situation that like would hurt you. But maybe you realized after like the situation ended that you you could have hurt them in some way. I just want to check that the cards are in frame quickly. Yeah, so my pile number three is let's say you did something to hurt this person unintentionally or you did something or said something that you wouldn't perceive as something that would hurt you. Um, and maybe at first you didn't want to admit to yourself that you did this. But then I think you worked on yourself with the Eight of Pentacles. You worked on this trait. And you've made peace with whatever you did. Or for some, this could be like this person. I'm seeing a situation specific message for some. Like let's say you were young and you were children. And like 
let's say you said something mean to this person, but you didn't know you were saying something mean to them, and then they started bullying you. Or let's say it was like a sibling connection or a cousin connection, where you were always like taking jabs at each other, but you were young. Um, or this person could have perceived you to hurt them, but you didn't mean to. Like, let's say it's a situation with a father or mother, like siblings, where the father or mother gives you more attention, but you're not trying to get more attention. Or I see a scenario in which maybe this was like a romantic connection or a friendship where you did or said certain things, but you didn't think it would hurt the person. And so you only realize like, oh my gosh, I did that to them. That could have hurt them after you left. And then some of you, like if you don't resonate with that at all, which I feel some of you won't resonate with hurting them. I feel like this person betrayed you, but maybe you betrayed yourself, right? You betrayed yourself by not leaving the connection with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So take it as it resonates. Either you betrayed this person or hurt this person in some way emotionally with the Three of Swords. And you both hurt each other. Or this person hurt you and betrayed you. But you betrayed yourself by not walking away. By staying anyways. By staying in the heartbreak and pain. Because you felt compassion and forgiveness for this person. And maybe you were too forgiving to this person. I see in your actions. This is a past situation that you have not moved on from. That still hurts you to, the day, to this day. Where it's like a very deep intricate situation. With a lot of details to it. So much details that it gets lost in translation. Like illusions here of something to learn from or break free from. Breaking free from certain illusions. And I think for you, like I said, you haven't been able to move past the hurt or pain that this has caused you. So... Maybe for some, you did hurt them and realize and you didn't want to leave. You wanted to fix things. You wanted to heal the heartbreak and pain that was caused. And it hurt you to hurt this person and it hurt this person to hurt you. For some, it was like that. If you don't resonate, then that doesn't resonate. So this person's actions towards pile three, per please. We have the eight of wands in the reverse. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Two of Swords. I feel like this should be here. We have the Ten of Swords. The Knight of Wands. The Page of Wands in the reverse, the Three of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. The Hermit is at the back of the deck, and I saw the Knight of Cups in the reverse wanted to pop out, with the Empress in the reverse as well. Like, the insecurities is coming up again. Let's say this person bullied you, or was a friend that constantly took jabs at you, or let's say this person was a lover that made you feel insecure. Like those could be situations I'm seeing here or scenarios I'm seeing here. With the hermit at the back of the deck, this person is becoming self-aware of what had happened here and is learning from the past right now. I feel for them, they've also not been able to move past what they've done here and they highly regret their actions and their decisions and what they did. I feel this person was very petty towards you and wanted to get one up on you. So let's say you two had conflicts or fights. They were very petty and they always wanted to have the last word. Or they wanted to hurt you worse than you hurt them. Or let's say 
they hurt they hurt you first and then you did something back to them then they do something back even worse i'm seeing a scenario like that or for some like let's say you hurt this person first unintentionally you didn't think your words or actions would hurt them because it wasn't hurtful to you and then they did something back to you out of being petty it could have been a situation where they always chose to pick fights with you and maybe get on your nerves so that you could react to them so that you could join in on the disharmony it's like i see for them like and you this was a karmic connection a karmic situation meant to teach the both of you something i don't feel like it was fully a lesson but it was a karmic situation and i feel this person's actions are creating a web of their own making because even though they're becoming self-aware i feel like this is a pattern in their life and I feel like you're not the only person they've done this with. I feel with the Page of Wands, they may be immature. And remember, I'm not just reading the tarot card meanings. I'm reading the energy behind it. Based off the context of the topic. I think for them, they do wish to reach out to you and talk to you one day to try set things straight with you they've also not fully moved on from the regrets of the past i think for them they really enjoyed your connection they really felt like you two could even be something more and for them for some of you they did these things while they were young and immature when they didn't know any better and they're kind of thinking, like, if we had met later on in life, would it have ended the same way? For some, this was a sibling or cousin. And for those where it's, like, a situation where it's a business partner. Let's say, for example, you made a certain rule that they were not happy with. And you were like, take it or leave it. And then this person was just petty and decided to not pay you. For example, let's say this was a client you set a boundary with. And they took it as you betraying them. Or being mean or whatever. Um, let's say it's a situation where... It's a business partner and you make a rule and they're not happy with it. So then they decide to take from you with Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Because maybe they do also don't have money. I kind of get the message for those where this person left without giving you clarity. I want to see why. Why did they do this? The Knight of Pentacles so many scenarios here that it's very complicated the situation page of cups reverse ten of wands the high priestess sits at the back of the deck with the four of wands popping out with death reverse and the tower reverse so i think this person felt as though their intuition was telling them that this is not going to work that you two are going to keep going at the cycle of being in disharmony and being in conflict with each other and that this is not going to work out this is not going to be healthy for both of you so i think they really enjoyed your connection or enjoyed working with you or valued your connection in some way maybe not in the best way i don't think they fully valued your connection but they did appreciate you being in their life they did appreciate your presence and the good memories you had together but I think for them, they didn't fully value you because if they did fully value you, they wouldn't be in this toxicity. And for those that feel like you both hurt each other, like this person does know that, like you both did partake in this, like it, it takes two to tango or for those where this person started it and you reacted or you did something without knowing and they did something or they kept doing it and you left, like... It's different scenarios here, but this person felt as though if they continued doing things like this, it would not end well. 
it would only end badly. And I think for them, they internally knew things had to end here with the Ten of Wands, that a cycle had to end with the skull here, because skulls represent rebirth. And I think they were looking at how things have gone and played out over time and how it's like you're both not learning or one person's not learning. And it's just not good for both of you. Not good for you either way. Like this person knows you don't deserve this. Knows you deserve better. So yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Um, so pile number one's karma, please, spirit guides. I feel for some you didn't quite fully speak your truth or set certain boundaries. The two of pentacles. It sounds contradictory because I said boundaries before, but different energy. Four of wands. Judgment. Ace of swords. Queen of swords. And the magician. We have the six of pentacles at the back of the deck. So I kind of get this message that for you with the judgment card, there's a feeling here of reflecting on the situation, on your rights and wrongs, their rights and wrongs, looking at it with no ego, not changing the story. Because, you know, sometimes we can be in a story and we're like, oh, what I did was not that bad, blah, 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 blah. Or maybe you didn't do anything at all. I think just be honest with yourself with the Queen of Swords. That's the advice here. If you are able to end the cycle, learn from it, grow from it, and not continue to have the cycle play out with others, then the universe is going to allow the cycle to end for you and allow communication to come from this person where you two both either give each other clarity or have a conversation and apologize. But I don't think you'll have a new connection with this person because I don't think that's helpful to the both of you. I think that the universe may bring you another connection in terms of whatever this is you wanted with this person, the universe is going to give you another connection or another celebration that's going to replace this. That's going to replace the value of this. As I look at the pyrite crystal, I'm almost imagining, um, you know, like insurance companies when they pay you out if you lost a car. It's kind of like the universe is doing that for you. But before the universe is going to help you, the universe wants you to learn the lesson from the situation. Whether that be speaking your truth, whether that be learning to leave situations behind that are toxic for you, where you are self-betraying, whether that be learning from the situation in terms of how to see red flags in people, um, how to not let your ego get the better of you and go in this tango of a fight, whatever the situation was, the message here is to learn from the situation and then you'll get a celebration. But if you don't learn from the situation, judgment here can indicate that you will be creating the situation again through another person. So be very careful here. Okay, I'm not saying this to be rude or anything, but I'm just being honest with what I see. So I think for you being honest, being honest with yourself is important. I think it can be different for all of you in terms of what this would be. Trying to gain clarity on this on your own in terms of the details of whatever happened. Yeah, like being honest with yourself about what happened here and how you can learn the lesson from this, how you can move forward from this and end the cycle for good. Otherwise, the cycle repeats itself. And it can even be a cycle of not speaking our truth, you know, like self-betraying, something like that. So spirit guides of pile or staying in situations that are not good for us, that are toxic. Pile three, um, this person's karma to, uh, this person's karma, 
please, the person on their mind, four of pentacles in the reverse, justice, the hierophant, uh, king of cups, strength, seven of swords, the high priestess, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and Four of Swords. Six of Pentacles in the reverse at the back of the deck. So same energies, different tone. So Queen of Wands, the Tower in reverse, the Hermit, Death reverse. So I think for this person, in order to not get their karma, they need to learn their lesson, take accountability from this. Um, if there was any kind of jealousy and they did this out of jealousy, they need to work on their self-worth and insecurities and work on their confidence and completely like leave this in the past and learn from this, take accountability, okay? I think for this person, Something's going to happen in which they learn a lesson. I think their karma is more so a lesson with the Hierophant. Um, where certain illusions are going to play out with the Seven of Cups. In terms of the same situation again. To see if they've truly learned. Okay. The universe is not going to help them out in terms of their wishes and dreams with the genie lamps here. And what they want to work on. Until they come to this conclusion until they're also honest with themselves about their behaviors and how that may have affected you 1444 four, four, on the clock and they can't be protective of themselves and hide from themselves they have to take accountability for their deceit for their deceitful actions with the seven of swords for what they've done wrong here and they need to gain a stronger emotional intellect here with the king of cups and strength because i feel like this person's very emotionally reactive or they do things without thinking or they just like they just like start fights with people but they don't emotionally regulate this person is going to be learning how to speak their truth without creating conflict okay i think for this person their karma is the universe isn't going to free them until they take accountability and learn and gain more peace within their emotions until they're able to regulate their emotions and create healthier emotional connections with people, okay? And I think for this person, things are not going to work in their wishes and in their life until they learn this and I think some part of them already intuitively knows this or has like maybe their spirit guides or pass on loved ones have come to a dream to tell them these things or maybe they've received signs or synchronicities or maybe they just know but they know they need to work on this part of themselves already so the universe is not going to help them until they shift this energy and if it doesn't, if they don't shift this energy, their karma is going to be that everybody knows the truth of who they are. I'm trying to look at this objectively. So everybody's going to know the truth of who they are. They're not going to feel free in their life. They're going to feel like they keep saving and they keep you know, working towards their dreams and wishes and goals, but nothing is coming to fruition. They're going to feel a block within their intuition where they think they must go a certain way, but then they don't, if they don't learn from this lesson. They're going to feel strong emotions that are hard to regulate from if they continue like this. They're going to have other people deceive them in the same way or pick fights with them in a way so that they can tackle their ego. So it's just going to put on more lessons and karma if they don't learn from this. So this is what I have for you, Pile 3. I really hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.